Good afternoon, One Nation Tribal Alliance tribal members, brothers and sisters. Today is October the 7th, Saturday, and it's a beautiful day outside, but I think we got our first cold snap, and I'm cold. That's why I got this jacket on, so ignore the jacket. Um, I'm here today to really um, pass on to you all what's been coming to me since early this morning when I got woke. And, you know, this I have to share because, you know, again, 2020 balance. Uh, people are going to be seeking the truth. And right now, what we're doing is, you know, helping people find the truth. And so I, I just want to share with y'all um, things that I've been wanting to share since for, for a while because it's happening. Well, for those of us that are awakening, you know, we come through a lot of challenges, a lot of aha moments, a lot of, you know, things that are out of the ordinary. And I guess to start with our awakening, you know, one thing I realized is that, you know, a lot of people that come to me will ask me, I need to learn this. I need to learn this because I need to share this with the, the world. I need to learn this so I can help the people. I need to learn this so I can, you know, be with the people or, you know, everything. So I said, well, you know, awakening, yes, you do learn how to, you know, figure out why or what your awakening is, what your mission is. People have different missions. So, you know, some people have good, you know, medium intuition or gifts. Some people have good healing gifts. Some people have good, you know, just talking to people, just good, good energy, you know, and we want to, work on that energy within ourselves to where, you know, when we get out and we start going out, going out to the public when we really have to, we want to be able to shine our light. And so one of the things that, you know, I always start doing, I started doing is that I started, when I start awakening and I start, you know, really want to, fine tune my gifts, I started studying deep. Deep, like in going into every rabbit hole I can find. You know, and when I go into the rabbit hole, some I got out of it. Because, you know, not everything you hear or see will resonate with you. But I kept, I stayed in the rabbit hole that resonated with me. So, you know, seek the knowledge that you want to learn, not the understanding. And what is the difference between seeking knowledge and understanding? Well, seeking the knowledge is you're open. Your mind is open to whatever you are trying to learn from different either cultures, ethnicity, or just whatever. And again, like I said, you only bring in what resonates with you and you put on a shelf what doesn't resonate with you. Or if it's that bad, you just don't worry about it. And the reason why I say keep what resonates with you is because if what resonates with you you know, it will enhance your knowledge. But what you put on the shelf, that doesn't mean you're putting it away or anything. You know, you always have it up there to where if you have to come back to it, you can. So, you know, as you as you as you start to learn your knowledge, you know, start to experience it. Or sometimes 
it won't come to you right away. You study, you study, you read, you see, you listen to other people, you 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 know, you sit down. It's like me about the last one of the last videos that we did. Um, and that is about the the very large array experience that I had. You know, when I was going through my modalities of being a medicine man at a very young age, I Again, I said I got a hall pass to go out during the Galaxy Fraternity teachings and the Stargazer teachings. So people used to come up to me, you know, says, oh, you see that spaceship? You see that spaceship? You know, I believe, you know, I believe in space beings. And when they tell me, you see that spaceship? You know, you know, I just kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of brush it off. But anyway, and not until I went to VLA. And after the via, uh, very large array experience, now the guys, the space guys said, you're ready to see us. We want to show you who we really are. And I looked up in the cloud and I told Kim, there's a spaceship in that cloud. She looked up, well, sure it is. You see it? I said, yeah, clear as daylight. And I took a picture of it with my camera. And, you know, that was an exciting moment. No, I said, wow, now I can see them for real. I mean, my you know, my knowledge was there about space people or space people or sky people, sky beings. I knew they were up there because listening to the elders about how they talk about the galaxy fraternity, you know, and the stargazers. You know, I didn't get in depth about it, but I knew. So I knew there was other beings up there, but I never experienced it until they showed me. You know, I guess because of the experience I had, I was it raised my dimension up to where they said, "Okay, now's the time to show them." And when I experienced that, I said, "Wow!" So you start. I mean, you start awakening as you go along. Sometimes it. Sometimes you try to get knowledge or something and it's fighting you, fighting you. Don't worry about it. When you least expect it, you're going to have that aha moment. You're going to say, that's what it means. Aha. And then you're going to say, well, they're going to say, I told you so. And you're going to say, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You told me so. So be patient with the knowledge. They'll show you when you're ready. You can do it when you're ready. Now, understanding the part about that is that, like, like I gave an example about being in the military. They break you before they can retrain you to their ways. Well, we can break ourselves to retrain ourselves into the higher dimension. By breaking ourselves, but what how I was taught to retrain myself on things is that I would fast. Fasting four, five, six, seven, up to ten days. And I remember it wasn't until probably I would say about six, seven years after being taught the modalities of fasting and everything. Till I start getting benefits out of it. You know, when you start fasting, usually on a 10-day fast, usually by day four, I feel sanctified. I mean, I'm in a higher realm, going up to the going up to the higher dimension to where, you know, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. But you know, after a while, day nine. They start saying, nope, got to get back, got to get back. You know, start getting back little by little. Because you don't want to stay up there. You need to come back, 
come back. And all these things that you are learning, learning well, because again, I go back to my military days. When I go out in the military, sometimes we will get in, in, in a situation. And in those situations, some of the modalities I was taught about getting in a higher realm, I would start doing it. I would start doing it to where, you know, it didn't, the physical things, the 3D things that I was going through would not affect me. And I started, I started to realize that, you know, I can't be hindered by the 3D's realm of things going on. And one of my tests on that was when I got hit head on by a drunk driver. I didn't blame the person. What happened? But two weeks later, I walked up to him. Please forgive me. Looked at me and says, no, I think you need to forgive me. I said, no. I just don't want to be indebted to you because of what happened. And I don't want you to be indebted to me as to what happened. And just nodded their head, just like, Something ain't right. Something ain't right here. Why is he doing this? And I told myself, I said, because it's to give myself peace as to what happened. I don't want to blame anybody. You know, I'm not blaming myself. I'm not blaming the individual. I let it go. And that's what we also need to work on. You know, we need to work on forgiving ourselves. We need to learn to love ourselves. We need to learn to be peace with ourselves. Because when you start going in this realm of doing your mission, you know, first of all, you start pulling yourself away from society. You start isolating yourself because you don't want to be part of that, what's going on. In a 3D world. You don't want to do what is out there. You want to be within. So you got to be able to pull yourself away. Because when you get into the spiritual realm, you know, the class that I want to teach about alchemy. When we get to the powerful part about the symbology, why they are so powerful, it's going to be up to you to grab it and harness it because I will give you the tools. I will give you the instructions of the tools. I will give you exercises for the tools. But it's going to be up to you to work with it. Make something out of it. You know, and so, you know, this is the reason why you have to seek the knowledge. Never mind the understanding. Now, when you, when, yeah, when you gain the knowledge, you tend to become a little rebel. Because you're going to disagree with what the 3D world is trying to show you or teach you or what they're trying to do. Don't worry about that. Be yourself. Yeah, you isolate yourself. And people are going to hate you. People are going to hate you because when you start isolating yourself and start getting knowledge and everything and your light start shine bright, when you go up to the people, they're going to, they're, going to, they're not going to like you. But that's all right because you keep it up. You're going to start feeling their energy. You go up to them and, and you go up to a person and the person comes up to and you feel that cold, dark energy on that person, you get away from them. But if you find a person that is enlightened like you and has a light that shines just as much as you are, 
man, y'all going to connect and y'all going to talk. Talk about either your experiences or talk about the knowledge or talk about your mission, whatever you all have. You know, you're going to share your gifts. You're going to share your knowledge. So understand that when you start doing this, you know, don't be afraid. We're out here. Give us a call. Write us. Say, hey, I need to talk to somebody about this, about that. I make myself available. If you have any questions, you can email me. I've been giving out my email. Email me. Either a question, I'll write to you. Or if it's going to be a long answer, I'll send you my phone number. You can call me. Because, you know, I will always share my knowledge. And if it resonates with you, take it. If it doesn't, put it on the shelf. You know, each one of us have different ways of expanding our knowledge. So I just I just want to tell you all that the classes we're going to teach is going to be really in depth. And it's going to be strong in spirit. You know, prepare yourself. You know, and, you know, become that rainbow warrior. I mean, ask, what is a rainbow warrior? You know, how can I be a rainbow warrior? I said, well, what color are you? I'm, I'm white. I'm white as it could be. Well, there's color white in the medicine world, so you are a rainbow warrior. You know? I'm black. It's in the rainbow. It's in the medicine world. You're part of it. Everybody needs to rise up, awaken, so we can take care of Mother Earth. You know, live for the moment. Don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. Live for the moment and enjoy the moment. So, knowledge will help you. And I just want to say thank you for your time. And again, if you have any questions, get a hold of me. Thank you for your time. I love you all. And all I can say is that things will be, you know, going wherever it leads, you know. I mean, I'm here, so call me. I love you.